and, and, and so a lot of people believe that intuition is the opposite of logic. And I would say intuition is logic that has become innate. That you don't have to know the logic behind that, that, that intuition. You know, I think in the book uh, Blink, Malcolm Gladwell explains like, you know, there are, there are people who are like, say, for example, someone who's an expert in noticing which stamp is fake and which stamp is original. The moment you show them a stamp, they would be intuitively be able to tell you in the blink of an eye if it's a fake or if it's an original. But if you ask them to prove why it is a fake or why it is the original, then or why it is a fake, they would need about months to figure out how they know that it is a, it's a fake. Now again, intuition is well trained. Now a person who's experienced, who's dedicated years of life to, to that stamp, would be able to do that intuitively. You show it to a layman, his intuition says it's fake or not, doesn't really, really matter. So intuition develops over time. And it's not like if you're intuitive, you're intuitive about everything properly. You become intuitive about the things to which you have exposure to because the logic keeps chunking up and at one time becomes deeply innate. The only reason I'm sharing this thing with you is that it often the way you get intuition feels like it's a mysterious magical force. And which is a good thing because you can sometimes trust your intuition. But then also one has to recognize when that intuition can be trusted and when that intuition can't be trusted.